Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about gametic meiosis. In my two previous videos I was talking about zygotic meiosis and sporic meiosis. And today we are going to talk about advanced trait, advanced mode of sexual reproduction which is gametic meiosis, which happens in animals and in some plants. And I am going to provide links to my two previous videos, so you can also watch them. And out of all three modes of sexual reproduction, this one is going to be easiest to understand, because this is what we humans use, so you get used to this idea of two gametes. One can be, for example, sperm, another one is egg cell. When they join, they form diploid zygote. So gametes are haploid, have only one set of chromosomes and zygote diploid. So zygote is fertilized egg cell, fertilized with sperm. So what happened next? Then zygote start to divide. Zygote divides through mitosis, so fetus would be formed and then adult entity, adult organism, which also grows through mitosis. And when organism is large enough, ready for sexual reproduction through the process of meiosis, organisms produce gametes, two types of the gametes, sperm and egg cells. Or we also can say male and female gametes. Now let's take example from the plant kingdom. Let's talk about codium, this is alga. And let's start with zygote. Zygote is deployed and it grows through the process of mitosis, so juvenile here. Then process of mitosis would produce adult plant, which has special structures, we say sexual structures, where gametes would form. And gametes would form through the process of meiosis, because in recombination is going to happen here, and all gametes are going to be genetically unique, and they are going to be reduction in the number of chromosomes. So this is going to be haploid gametes. And as you see in this alga, gametes are of the different size. And those which are bigger considered to be female gamete and that uh, which is smaller male gamete. If you remember from my previous video, when we have two gametes of the similar size, we call this isogamy. When gametes are of the different size, we call this anisogamy. So they find each other, they joint, fuse, and forming zygote, losing this flagella. So both of them have two flagella. When they fuse, they have four, and they lose this flagella, forming diploid zygote. So starting from here and all the way up to here, we have a diploid organism, and here we have haploid organism. So this is predominantly diploid organism that exist in the diploid form. So it contrasts with sporic meiosis where organisms can exist in both diploid form and haploid form and we call this alternation of generations. And also different from the zygotic meiosis where organisms predominantly exist in haploid form. Let's put two and here and one and here, which means that here um, these gametes are haploid and this organism is diploid. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.